we're getting all caught up on our celebrity news this morning with TMZ producer and my BFF, Michael Babcock, live from L.A. How you doing? Hey, Mary, I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, look at us twinning today. You look cute. Uh, we are, aren't we? Mm. All right, let's jump into yeah, the headlines. More, I think. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> what color are we going to wear on Thursday? I'll DM you. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk, yeah. Uh, Katy Perry. Yeah. Yeah, so she had her last show in Las Vegas at the uh, Resorts World, and there were a ton of celebrities out there, uh, including one who we really, uh, with the exception of one time last week now, that we, we literally have not seen in years. So, uh, so Katy Perry has her show, of course, you know, uh, her fiancé uh, is there, Orlando Bloom, um, but, but Celine Dion. Celine Dion, Marielle, has this very rare condition it's called stiff person syndrome and uh essentially and you get you got like one uh, to two mil or one to two people out of a million that get this so it's incredibly rare and you get these very long very painful muscle spasms and she had not been seen for three and a half years now wow. uh the other day she was at a hockey game at, at a golden knights game in vegas and that was the first time in three and a half years but so uh, at the uh, Katy Perry show, uh, she was there with her two uh, sons, and they looked like they were having a great time. And, uh, you know, it's it's obviously really good to see. Um, people didn't know what her future held, and it, it is very serious. It's, it's something that can be, uh, you know, life-threatening, certainly. It's life-altering, and ni nice to see her out there. It was, pre was pretty cool to see her there. Yeah, she's certainly the right person, unfortunately, I guess uh, you would say, to bring attention to this. Right, um, to right, be so exactly. High I think it's yeah, totally. So something I think most people obviously had never heard of before yeah. because of how rare it is, and and now yeah, it does bring it some attention. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think that's a, a good point. Mario. Okay, I want to make sure we have time to get to Kyle Richards. I have been waiting for Beverly Hills to yeah. return. Uh, side note, I'm trying to get uh, Dina to start watching if she if you watch any housewife franchise mm. i think she would really enjoy beverly hills and they have not disappointed they're starting to talk about whatever's going on between them already this season yeah and i think i think kyle let let the uh, the d word slip uh yeah. this weekend so you know BravoCon had this uh their their big uh, yearly festival talk about kind of all the stuff that happened on their uh, big reality shows over the year and she's doing an interview um you know before the the weekend's festivities start and she says that you know, they basically ask the question you know are you have you evolved as a person something to that effect and she says yeah you know i went through this my friend dying i went through a, a divorce and that's the first time really that we've heard her use that word a lot of people have you know have been wondering are they going to try and uh, fix things you know they have issues but they as she has said they're still living under the same roof the kids are still living under the same roof and, and might there be a way to fix things so when she then says the word divorce obviously then you know people start saying to themselves okay well maybe this relationship actually is over then it was uh, the, the next day she sits down on this panel Mariel somebody asks her about their relationship and she breaks out uh, she breaks then down in tears and clearly upset and and, uh, you know, I, I know people obviously look at her like this big star. Uh, obviously, though, this is something that's having a, you know, a heavy emotional impact on her. And, and she's clearly struggling right now with this. I mean, you know, marriages go through ups and downs. And we obviously don't yeah. know what's really going on in their home. But I really enjoyed watching them as husband and wife on the show. Yeah. He's I think a, a lot of people did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Good looking guy. Yeah, company. yeah, they got along so great. This is, I, where are I we on the rumors about her, her other boo? Yeah, well, so, so Mauricio, right, uh, you know, uh, Emma Slater, his, uh, his dance partner on Dancing with the Stars, they have, you know, they've looked awfully cozy with each other at times. They were out a few weeks ago. People might have, you know, if you follow this kind of stuff, you might have seen them. They they were seen holding hands, and then they tried to explain it away. And it, it does seem like there are, there is something there romantically um, between Mauricio, who was the estranged husband, we'll call him, and uh, and his dance partner. We'll, we'll see. I mean, she says, they, again, she, still, she says they still live under the same roof. And... Um, the kids live under the same roof, all but one. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it must be tense. It's, it's got to be tense.
Uh, I will leave you with this. Anyone who is in a relationship, you don't don't let your partner do Dancing with the Stars because it's too much <laughs> no, foolishness that goes no, on. That's there. like rule number one. Period. <laughs> do not. <laughs> they, everyone always hooks up. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh -uh. All right. Good to see you. <laughs> you too, Mary. I'll see you. Let's talk. We'll talk about the color later in the week. Yes, 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 yes. I'll DM you. You can watch TMZ live right here on Fox 2 weekdays at 3 p.m. and again at 7.